launching airstrikes against Islamic State from a base in Cyprus. Protecting commercial ships passing through the Strait of Gibraltar. Defending the Falkland Islands. Key tasks carried out by Britain's armed forces that could be affected if a no-deal Brexit obstructs the flow of supplies to troops overseas. To counter the risk, the Ministry of Defence has started stockpiling extra food, fuel, spare parts and even ammunition. It is important for the country, very important, yes. For the general who commanded British forces to victory against Argentina in the Falklands, it's sensible military planning. Without ammunition, without food, the whole thing comes to a grinding halt. And logistics actually in the Falklands War tended to drive the way the war was fought and, and many of our plans revolved around could you actually do it logistically. This small port, used by the military in Southampton, offers a guaranteed route for supplies in and out of the UK if commercial ports experience delays. Teams trained in handling freight could help transport extra material to Gibraltar and Cyprus if required. A number of military personnel have already been moved from their normal jobs to focus on no-deal preparations. This isn't a sign that Defence Chiefs believe there will definitely be problems, but it is evidence of the need for the armed forces to be prepared in case there are any disruptions. Military bases in the UK are also building up their stores to ensure troops don't run out of fuel or food if there's any disruption to imports. But officers say cost-saving cuts to improve efficiency in recent decades have left the armed forces less resilient. Having lots of everything is a really inefficient way of doing business. And in the same way that we've seen the NHS desiring not to hold two weeks worth of particular drugs, but having them only two days, but having a very efficient just-in-time logistics supply chain. So the military has been doing similar things. That means that when there's a bit more doubt and you need a bit more flexibility, you have to grow a bit of fat on the bones. A spokesman said a limited range of supplies have been bought as part of the MOD's contingency planning, but he said Marchwood Port didn't currently feature in preparations. Two defence sources, however, told Sky News the port is being considered. What's in no doubt is that the military is getting prepared. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.